three format so you can follow it. And I'd just like to start off um, saying the Auckland branch of antique uh, at the Auckland branch is a branch of the New Zealand Antique and Historical Arms Association. And it's been a collector's club in Auckland since 1965. My name is Miles Chandler and I've been a president of the branch for more than 10 years. Now our club participates actively in community events, that's the Anzac Day Cannons at Y Committee, displays at Auckland War Memorial Museum and Ardmore Air Shows. And our club members hold historic collections of firearms and the many stories that go with them, preserving these for future generations. Our club's made extensive submissions, today I'll highlight five of these. Number one, registration of firearms. Registration of firearms has already been tried in New Zealand from 1922 to 1982. It was an expensive failure. Not one crime was sold by the Register of Firearms in that time. Part registration is already active in New Zealand. From 1983, New Zealand focused on a fit and proper person test. However, a part register has been maintained by police for pistols and restricted weapons. From 1992 onwards, police added a register of military-style semi-automatics. Even this li limited register is often incorrect. Our club members regularly report that the police register has <coughs> wrong numbers or incorrect firearms reported. Recently, over 31,000 records were lost from the firearms register during the transfer of the register from Police National Headquarters to the Cavity Firearms Office. Serial numbers and descriptions of semi-automatics, pistols and restricted weapons were lost for all owners, surnames A to C. Police have denied they have lost the data. One imagines they are relying on paper records from local arms officers and this vastly increases the likelihood of errors. This does not reflect well on the ability of police to maintain an accurate arms register. There are no strong re uh, arguments that support registration. Every argument that has been proposed to support registration is weak, flawed, or is covered by existing rules and legislation. Antique arms does not support blanket registration in the sea. Loss of the 